to the banks of the Ohio River and Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New York Jets and the Cincinnati Bengals. Evan McPherson about ready to get this going as we are underway now from Paul Brown Stadium. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They'll start on the ground, Carter. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. They'll go again with Carter. And he got blown up on that play, back at the 20. Now they're gonna be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? You don't see too many quarterbacks coming up with hits like that in the running game. He announced his presence right there and knocked it back for a loss. On third down, Wilson. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing, but to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Back to Mixon on second down. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pick of four. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Now it's Burrow. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want here six. Go, go. 11 MC, Burrow going for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Now Carter to start the drive. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this down inside the 40 before he's finally ridden out of bounds. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Going quickly out wide to Moore. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's often like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steaming ahead and he just hands it to you and you get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? 
I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. On, Attack right? at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get I'm to right. that spot. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. Tyler Boyd, 46 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So we'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Barrios now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. These two teams all tied after one. So still 14 yards to go, second down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They felt they got not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bengals have moved out in front. And McPherson on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. On first and ten, it's Carter. And his defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. 
Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. On second and nine, Wilson over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 42. Now Wilson uncorks one for Davis. And intercepted, Wilson's third of the game. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you're throwing this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here we go. From the 21, it's second and 10. They're passing here. Joe Burrow to mix it on the check down. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender and work to the defense's advantage on that play. Here we go. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Logan Wilson. Well, CD, you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, while we look at the defense, they came in prepared. Had an excellent game plan, well scouted, and they're taking it away at almost every turn. Burrow once again here on second and 10. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. This is caught. Touchdown! Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Barrios now from his end zone.
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. This will be caught downfield by Moore. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he will bring it back.